It's time for this week's Funky Friday Anatomy Quiz. In this week, it's a picture quiz. Five questions with five pictures. So if you're ready, grab a pen and let's get to it. Question one. What is the name of this bone and which other bones does it articulate with? Question two. What are the different parts of the stomach labelled one to five called? Question three, what is the name of this muscle? What does it do? And can you name its nerve supply? Question four, what is the name of this nerve and which muscles does it supply? Finally this week, question five, what is the name of these structures? There are two of them, one on either side, but can you name them? The answers. Question one is the scaphoid bone. The scaphoid is one of the bones in the wrist, or carpus as it's also known. The bones of the wrist are arranged in two rows, a proximal row, which is closest to the forearm, and a distal row, which is closer to the hand. The scaphoid is in the proximal row, and it therefore articulates with the radius bone of the forearm. It also articulates distally with the trapezium, which is also a carpal bone, but found in the distal carpal row under the thumb. The scaphoid has one other bony articulation, which is the lunate bone, which is also a carpal bone situated in the proximal row. The different regions labelled in this picture of the stomach are the fundus, the body, the lesser curvature, the greater curvature, and the pylorus. Question three is extensor hallucis longus which is found in the anterior compartment of the leg. It does exactly what its name suggests. It extends the hallux, which is another name for big toe, and it is a long muscle. So extensor hallucis longus is a perfect name for this muscle. It is supplied by the deep perineal nerve. Question four is the auxiliary nerve. It is a branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The auxiliary nerve supplies the deltoid muscle, which is that lovely large round muscle of the shoulder joint, and it also supplies the teres minor, which is one of the four rotator cuff muscles. Question five is the right and left bronchus, which are a direct continuation of the trachea. The bronchi transmit air into the lungs for gaseous exchange to take place. The right bronchus, as you can see, is shorter and wider and is more vertically placed, which means this is usually the bronchus in which foreign objects can get stuck if they're inhaled by mistake. So how did you do this week? If you liked our quiz, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and remember it's Friday, so stay funky, people! Your anatomy matters!